Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm here with my friend Nicholas and uh, we're gonna do a reaction content because I'm injured again. I uh, ruptured my muscle over here, my leg. So yeah, out of action for rolling for a few weeks. <clears throat> yeah, so we're gonna react to this show called The Deadliest Warrior. Um, and we, 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 I picked Viking versus Samurai. So basically what happens is they take two warriors, they ancient warriors like a Viking and a Samurai, and they put the match them together and they do various tests to figure out like, you know, who's the the most deadliest warrior. So mm. it's a duel to the death to decide who is the deadliest warrior. This is the Fight Club. A high-tech battle zone where we've assembled scientists, yeah, like doctors, and combat experts. I love how they're like, oh, we've assembled scientists and doctors. <laughs> that is like, I'm like, I check them out. Yeah, I don't know about that. Like, <laughs> how did you find the show? Uh, I, I actually saw someone react to it on YouTube. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. so. So we're not the first ones. Yeah, we're not the first ones. <laughs> but this just, is cheap, guys. So. Yeah, yeah, it's like recycled content, but I just. I saw it and I was like, it's pretty funny. Experts. Plus, a stunning arsenal of weaponry. We're gathering data for a virtual face-off between two of the greatest warriors ever known. A samurai. Samurai <laughs> coming in like a whopping five, five foot three. three. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, that's like, I mean. yeah, I mean, that, that's tall though. For them? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 that's tall, that's tall. I, I like once I was at a museum and my mm -hmm. height was like I would be king's guard and I'm I'm not mm -hmm. a tall guy I'm like yeah, yeah, five yeah. foot eight maybe mm -hmm. like this and um so people used to be shorter yeah so I understand yeah like I was telling you the other day like um Alexander the Great's like what five foot five foot yeah Ooh. so he's like super short but he's like one of the greatest like conquerors ever mm. um <clears throat> And like wearing, I mean, think about his weight, right? He weighs like 135 pounds, but his gear is 65 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it half seems of like his a <laughs> He's literally yeah. half of his body weight. So it's literally like us walking around like 35 kgs with an arm up. Versus a Viking. Blood oh, he's a giant. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, wow. there's a massive size discrepancy there. Yeah, yeah like I can clearly. see the Viking winning this fight. <laughs> I mean, 180 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Wearing, wait, the same amount. They're very the gear yeah. is about the same. Yeah. But he wait, yeah, it is the same actually. Yeah, it's not looking good for our boy uh, Samurai over here. Hey, and Vikings are. We'll put their weapons and combat styles to the test. How's that? Biomedical scientist. <laughs> What's that? Like, this is a little punch. Like, I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's like not going to do anything to a Viking. They'll just probably like laugh at you. Mm. The funny thing is like whenever I see a Viking, I think of one of my Norwegian colleagues. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see them fighting back yeah, in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever I see a samurai, I think of Michael. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah he's, he's got the samurai yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The thing is, they've got the speed. The samurai have the speed. And they, sh like, they have the light speed. swords. Yeah, and they yeah. They have the technique, I think. Mind you, they're, they're wearing like that heavy armor. Yeah. Though, that's and it's like down. less, they're smaller, so it's like less area of attack. Exactly. Less mm -hmm. surface area that makes you, that the Viking has to hit. Let's go. ER Doctor, Armand Dorian, will analyze the lethal potential of the weapons. The spinal column here is cut in half. Compu <laughs> I don't think you have to get knocked out. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, like hmm, did this arrow through the eye stick out the back of the head kill this man? Like, mm. I, I think I think that's that's yeah. like four years of medical school for that. <laughs> oh yeah, what I should actually say is Nicholas is actually starting to be a doctor. Yes. So yes. he can analyze it for us. I, mean, I, would, I would do my best. I would do my best. <laughs> Samurai weapons will be tested by Tetsuro Shikamatsu, a master of Kyodo, Japanese Zen archery. He is a direct descendant of a samurai clan. The only way to enter the samurai class was to be born into it. And the only way to leave was to die. Wait, did he say the only way to leave is to die? That's intense, yeah. <laughs> so it's like a gang. That's a good shot, yeah. Mm. I feel like that's jujitsu as well. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is. It is, it is. <laughs> I think I'm on the way of dying, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think I'm out now. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> 
The samurai skills will be demonstrated by stuntman and four-time martial arts black belt, Brett Chan. Brett showcase. There is the, this guy is not five foot three. Like, let's just be clear. Yeah. This guy that they're using, he's like, he's like not six, a foot Yeah, he's like six foot two, like, like 250 pounds of muscle. Yeah, yeah. Like, this guy is not representing your average samurai, according to the But he's only the expert. He's not the fighter. He's only the weapon. Expert. Oh, he's a weapons expert. Mm. Okay. He would find a worthy adversary and continued fighting until he killed him or he was killed himself. Among the pantheon of warriors, the samurai is surely the greatest. Yeah! <laughs> the war cry. It's what I do after every jiu fight. Yeah, I, 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 look, I, just, I feel like the Viking is... I don't see a samurai doing a war cry. You know, I a feel, war cry? Yeah, like... Mm. I think everyone does a war cry. Okay. I think that's, that's like after, international. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I, okay, I think okay. that's just a human being mm -hmm. thing. Okay. Maybe, I want to start doing this after Jiu-Jitsu. When, when, when you submit someone. You should, when you yeah. submit someone. <laughs> ah! During the fight. During the fight. <laughs> Matt Nelson teaches Viking combat techniques. His lineage can be traced to Viking raiders from Denmark. The Viking would conquer and crush him just like they did everyone else. The Vikings bigger, meaner, nastier. I have to give the edge to the Viking 100%. I'm giving it all to the samurai right now. We've got superior. Okay, okay. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Who would win? I... Who would you would? Okay, let's say you have. Mm -hmm. Who would you pick on? You have a, a real <clears throat> life to death battle between a Viking and a samurai. Who would you pick? I mean, my heart was to go to the samurai. Mm -hmm. I just mm -hmm. I feel like always like like samurais more. But realistically, like, there's quite a big size discrepancy. What do you think? I mean, I have a feeling that, like, I think it's true that the submarine is no more technique. Mm -hmm. But I have a feeling that just the Viking, because just like that's, that's what he did all day long. I mean, mm -hmm. they, I think they were like six years old and then they would be with their yeah, dads yeah, and they yeah, would yeah, be yeah. hunting and then like mm -hmm, at 12 mm -hmm. years. They would maybe even go to a, I'm I'm not sure if that's like historically accurate right now, but mm -hmm, yeah, yeah. I have a feeling they, they have like a lot more experience. Mm. So also maybe the, the culture was more brutal. I'm not sure if that's true, but it looks yeah. like maybe I mean okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna just say I'm gonna say samurai. Okay, yep, okay, okay. okay. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Viking. Okay, Viking. Samurai's primary weapon is the katana. Thirty inches of folded steel. Sharper than any razor. The katana represents perhaps the greatest weapon mankind has ever produced. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I was like, yeah, the greatest weapon mankind has ever produced. Like, like AK-47? Yeah. The katana? Yeah. 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 And sheathing the katana with lightning speed became its own martial art called Iaijutsu. The Japanese studied for years. I love that scene. It's just, just like a gangster scene. <laughs> yeah, it's like a gangster scene. Maybe, I don't know if you see that video on the YouTube where it's like, <laughs> I can't say it. No. But like, yeah, like they bumped each other. Like, this is a boy. very friendly family YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they like bumped into someone and like, oh, what's going on? And then like, it's like a gang fight. It's like the same thing. I feel like a server. They were so bumped... kind and friendly, but yeah, like, the moment yeah. they touched, it was yeah, like, like, you bumped into me, bro? <laughs> yes, we, I. <laughs> now we have to duel to the death. <laughs> That's how it goes. <laughs> Do a quick calculation here right. on how fast that was. So you had three kills within 296 milliseconds. And our rule of thumb is that it takes a quarter second to perceive that you need to get out of the way. So that's three Vikings in less than a third of a second. There actually was a better way to test the true sharpness of the katana. And that was to use it on human bodies. <laughs> he's like, no, 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 we, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're like, no, we don't we need mats now. We got to go to real humans. <laughs> That's the only way. <laughs> uh. Vikings, do you want to take a look at this? There's no Whoa. resistance. Wow. It just blew through that body like it was nothing. Perhaps you could even have got to three or four pigs if we'd have used their weapon like our broad axe. If I'm not mistaken, this is precisely how Vikings nap together, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how 
Vikings. <laughs> that was funny. That was great. That was a good line. <laughs> Enter the samurai, a victim made from gel that matches the resistance of human flesh. Go! Oh my god. <laughs> nice. In my 10 years of emergency medicine experience, this type of injury happens when, like, a train runs over somebody. <laughs> the Vikings equal to a train. <laughs> I, I think they're gonna win. I think they're gonna win. <laughs> yeah, the slow motion really captures your complete lack of technique very nicely. Surely you would kill your usual victims, women, unarmed children, a baby. <laughs> yeah, you'll kill, you'll kill the women and children, but that's what you're killing, buddy. <laughs> The, the, the okay, samurai's no, collarbones are just too strong. <laughs> just bounce off. <laughs> when a Viking boy became a warrior, he was probably 12 years old. And he was literally baptized in combat. Yeah, baptized. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Baptized in combat. It's new, it's baptized new. in the blood of your enemies. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. There used to be a lot of reading in the temples. In the hands of an expert. The Naginata delivers death at a distance. Three, two, one, go! Oh, man. Oh, part of his skull is yeah. just chopped off. Like, okay, so as a medical expert, yeah. I can tell you like this. He's is, dead? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> but Vikings had a wicked weapon of their own, the longsword. Only three LDS. That's nothing. Wait, wait. Three pounds. That's no, like, there's no way that that's that. They got yeah, the weight wrong. Yeah, like, that thing would weigh like that. That's light. like 1.5 kgs. That's yeah. That's not even I think. A little bit less than 1.5 yeah, kgs. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like having a one kilo. It's like literally a kitchen knife. It is a kitchen knife. This is it's like it's a yeah. They completely got the weight wrong there. It would probably be more like I don't know 20 pounds, or maybe a bit. Bigger. Yeah, maybe maybe something like this. 18 yeah. pounds yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Casey. Three, two, one, go! Oh my god. This is the first slice. The first slice. Yes, eh? right. Right through it. Oh. Base of the skull, into the brain cavity. It's completely shattered. <laughs> Why were the Vikings able to defeat so many different people across all of the Western world? Vikings were armed to the teeth and wielded. <laughs> that guy's, that guy's, that guy's oh, shield just <laughs> fell apart. That's <laughs> like <laughs> yeah, yeah, like he just tapped it with the sword and the shield just <laughs> fell apart. It's my defense in Jiu-Jitsu. Yeah. <laughs> That's your guard <laughs> Spear. This simple yet deadly weapon was the Viking's calling card. Warriors carried up to four of these versatile weapons in the battle. Do you have Viking descendants? Uh, I mean, you should have. I mean, I've got like Dutch. You got Dutch. Yeah. Dutch I mean, is, German. Dutch I is, think that Dutch, maybe. Dutch is Viking, yeah. right? Dutch is Viking. Yeah, right? yeah. So I've got Viking descendants. So this is. This is emotional mm -hmm. for you. Yeah, this yeah, is, this like, is intense. This is intense. <laughs> I don't know. I, sh I don't know why I picked samurai. I'm just betraying my heritage. <laughs> the Japanese warrior perfected the lethal sting of the Yumi. Taller than the archer who aimed it. I want to see you get in there. Well, how about an arrow straight to the eye of the Viking? I'd like to see it. Do it. To give Team Samurai a smaller target, Jeff sets up a gel head wearing a Viking. Look at these eyes. Yeah. Look at these eyes. <laughs> I like his expression. Yeah, this guy does not like look. It. He's not excited to be here. <laughs> Viking helped. All right, let's rock. Oh. Wow, this is very impressive. Our team removes the Viking helmet so Dr. Dorian can assess the damage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The doctor has to assess okay, the damage. Okay. Like, I have a feeling that it hurts. Yeah, I feel like he didn't survive this one. Mm. This is eyeball kebab at its best. <laughs> now, I realize for the Viking, the brain isn't a vital organ, but... 
The brain is, did you just say the brain is a vital organ? I understand. Well, it's for the Viking, the brain isn't a vital organ, it but... Is. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was a, that was a, that was such a mean roast. That was I must say, I think the samurai definitely <laughs> wins for the comedy. The roast thing, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. How does this He's he's won already. Battle shield made out of wood and iron. The battle shield repelled oncoming attacks. Okay, we got 127 psi on that last one. We can pop an eyeball with 12 psi. 150 psi. We're cutting right through the skin to the bone. You've definitely disrupted the samurai's game plan. And that's not even the primary weapon. So, <laughs> what damage comes? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's not even the primary weapon. Samurai team is unruffled by this show of force. We believe that the shield is a manifestation of weakness. In Bushido, we have a saying. <laughs> the shield is a manifestation of weakness. Oh, because they don't have a shield. Yeah. Shield. I don't know. I, I would feel more safe with a shield. Yeah. But that's a weakness. <laughs> that's, that's your weakness. That's me being weak, yeah. Your... Why don't I have... Okay, okay, okay. Follow-up question. Why would mm -hmm. you have a helmet then? Not just a headband, like this guy. Why would you have a helmet? Yeah, yeah that's exactly Isn't that a sign of weakness? Yeah, so he, he shouldn't... <laughs> he actually shouldn't have any armor. Actually, yeah. He should just be coming down <laughs> naked. <laughs> this was actually going a little bit slower than the Great Axe, but it's double the mass, which gives it twice the momentum and that's really what we're seeing here is the momentum transfer into that bone you know cavemen killed uh, animals with big clubs too i mean it's not that <laughs> 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 yeah, that's calling them cavemen that's probably the biggest insult to a samurai mm. you're actually just a glorified caveman but look at the size difference like, yeah like, guy yeah yeah, yeah that, that guy is a legitimate like viking this he's, guy's like seven foot two yeah okay boys it's a Viking shield for you to smash with a Kanabo. Got a 2,000 pound load cell in behind there. It's like a big Tonka toy. That's the biggest piece of wood your samurai has ever seen. That was a good roast. He's heading back now. The Viking's heading back. In the beginning, I was all samurai. Hands down, straight up, I was gonna give it to the Viking. But after these these last few days of testing, it's like two for Tuesday with the amount of murder that we're getting here. Max and Jeff are on the fence. But after a grueling day of testing, Max will enter the data into a cutting-edge computer program that will simulate the battle a thousand times. I think it's similar. Yeah, I, I mean, like, I feel what like... What type of computer program is that? Like, it gives a TV show. Like, I don't think that's... Like it's just making it's like a random number generator. Yeah, like <laughs> how do you, how do you put all these at random values into like computer simulation mm. and get out like who's gonna win? A thousand times. <laughs> a thousand times. Computer will take all the test results and decide who is the deadliest warrior. Okay, so who will win? I, I said I said in the beginning I said Viking. <laughs> I wanna say Viking. No, you say Samurai. Yeah, you said Samurai. I did say Samurai. You said Samurai. I can't take it back. Okay. Bro, take out the shield. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, why is that behind his back? <laughs> Like yeah. that. Like just let's go back. Let's go back. Especially like, check out how he gets up again. It's <laughs> half of your body weight. It's like thirty-five yeah, kg yeah, yeah. off. And how he gets up? It's <laughs> like a ninja <laughs> jump. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if you get hit by like, a, yeah, like a. Internal speed, yeah. yeah. internal speed. But it will go straight through the chainmail. Well, that that will go straight through the chainmail. Because it's like a blunt force. Yeah, yeah. Not blunt force. Yeah. It's a spear. It will go. I think it goes straight through the chainmail. So it hits yeah, you with a spear. Yeah. Or like, like your yeah. armor. Like I feel like that samurai would be dead from that spear. Hundred percent. I felt feeling that. Mind you, like considering this guy did also survive like an arrow to the chest. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's I think they're both dead by now. <laughs> Treating. 
Don't retreat. No mercy. Come on. <laughs> Okay, I feel betrayed. So I feel betrayed. I think it was. I don't, I, I don't. I don't think that's true. Though. Yeah, I don't. Like, like watching the whole thing, it, it makes me think like that the Viking would win. Mm. Um, you was. I doubt. Like, I doubt it. Yeah, I think it was a clear win for the Viking. Yeah, me too. But yeah. Oh well. If you guys like the video, uh, let me know in the comments down below, and uh, yeah, maybe, like maybe we'll make another one. Right. Yeah. Thanks so much. Like, depending how likes. If I get get a hundred likes, we'll be doing another one. So, if we get two likes, we'll be doing. Another one. <laughs> <laughs> two likes. Yeah. yeah, yeah okay. okay. Yeah. Two likes. This is gonna be real. <laughs> really realistic. Really realistic. Okay. Two likes. Okay. 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 Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Ciao.